What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nichols YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, and that means it expanded Thursday. And also, uh, just so FYI, Primal Clash is legal on Pokemon TCGO, but I don't have any packs currently. So uh, we're still going to play, like, we're going to pretend like Primal Clash is not legal for me, even though we might play against it playing this deck. But we'll see what happens. You can see kind of the new deck manager uh, background, too. It looks uh, pretty nice. I like the blue and red. But uh, today we're looking at Rayquaza Electric deck. Uh, why am I wearing my headphones? I don't know why I'm wearing headphones. I just realized I'm wearing headphones. Sorry about that. But, uh, so, this deck's been around for a really long time. Uh, since, I don't know. When, is it, when did Rayquaza come out? Since Dragon's Exalted. But, uh, this deck's uh, been a favorite for a lot of people. Uh, Electric's kind of the, uh, well, I guess Bronzong is our Electric now, if, if you don't know that. But, uh, let's go over the deck real quick. So, we have Big Bad Rayquaza here. 170 HP and uh, Celestial Roar, Celestial Roar. For color energy, you discard the top three cards of your deck. If any of these are energy cards, attach them to this Pokemon. Now, we are never going to use this unless like we are in a bad, like bad situation. We are not using Celestial Roar, but we can't. Uh, the main thing here is you want to use Dragon Burst. Not can we are going to. So uh, Dragon Burst is 60 times not as fire energy or lightning energy you discard. Uh, 99% of the time you're going to discard the lightning energy. So when you discard 3 lightning you knock out most EXs. When you, knock out f when you discard 4 lightning you're discarding you're mostly you're one shotting like almost I think every EX 240 uh, I think that looks at every almost every EX Omega EX I think every new Mega has 240 and or less. No, I think Werelord might have more. I'm not 100% sure it caught up on my Primal Clash. So I could be wrong there. But uh, for 3 energy, you're knocking out every EX with 180. But with 4, you're knocking out almost every Mega EX. I could be wrong though. But uh, so when you use your closet, you have to discard the electric energies. Well, to kind of help fuel that, we have electric here. Uh, so Electric has Dynamotor, which is, like I said, our Bronze Og now. Once during your turn for your attack, you may attach an energy, a lightning energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So, you kind of power up your Rayquazas that way with Electric. But, uh, you might be wondering, well, how do I get, how do I get the Rayquazas onto the bench? Well, that's why we have Keldeo. So, Keldeo has the ability to rush in once during your turn. If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may switch this Pokemon to your actives. So, basically, if Keldeo is on your bench, you can swap it with Rayquaza, Dynamotor twice, maybe three times, and then send the Rayquaza back in, because Keldeo rush in doesn't count as the retreat for the turn. And, uh, this deck also plays Electros, just because all these cards are basic. So, you don't have a real way to deal with Pyroar, and I like Electros more. Then I like Shred Rayquaza. Uh, so Crash and Burn. Discard as many energies. Uh, we we'll wouldn't use them Crash and Burn, sorry. But Crash and Burn for Lightning and Colors. Discard as many energies attached to your Pokemon as you like. So all your Pokemon to play, not just this Electros. And it does 30 times the amount of energy cards discard this way. So all you have to discard is 4, and you can one shot a Pyroar. And there's no way they can one shot you back because you have 140 HP. So they need a lot to actually kill you. And I guess if you want to, you could. Thunder Tempest. But, uh,. Yeah, we're not, nah, we're not done with Tempest. Uh, and also, for like our safeguard kind of Pokemon, with like, maybe Sigla for Suicune, we have Zekrom in here. Uh, Outrage, 20 plus 10 for each damage kind of Pokemon, we're not really using that. We're using Bolt Strike for 2 Lightning and Colors, you do 120, and Zekrom does one and does 40 damage to yourself. Uh, it does do 40 damage to itself, which is kind of bad, but you can watch out the Suicunes and uh, Siglas and all those pesky wall Pokemon. Uh, but it also helps against uh, Evotol. The deck doesn't really struggle against Evotol, but you can kind of like use it as a uh, like all of a sudden you drop a Zekrom and just one shot Evotol out of nowhere, and that way they have to play the like this full prize game. Like had, so they still have to knock out three EXs to win. But uh, maybe Zekrom can be good. Maybe as a closer to closer to if you can use Zekrom. I don't know, just in case you don't have any attackers, you can use Zekrom. So uh, that's all the Pokemon we could play. Uh, you can play Riku. Uh, Riku does. For two lightning and colors, it snipes anywhere for 100, so you can get Garbodors down that way. But I don't think many Pokemon players are playing Garbodor now. Um, I don't know, it doesn't seem like many are playing Garbodor anymore, so that's why I don't have Riku in here. And plus, I don't own any here on Pokemon TCG online. Uh, it's kind of hard to cart, it's kind of hard card to get. But uh, let's go over the items and energies and stuff. 
So the deck plays Zaps Machine, so you discard two cards from your hand, put a training card from each card file into your hand, and then this is just give back certain items, like if you need Ultra Balls, Megaphones, Level Balls, Super Rod, that's how you just get them back. I think it's better than Computer Search in this deck. Uh, the deck does play Ford Level Ball, which search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, reveal it and put it in your hand, so that can get you the Tynamos, and get you the Electrics, because they both have 90 HP or less. Uh, the deck plays one for Vest Letter. And just, uh, first of all, you search your deck for two basic energy cards or villain to put in your hand. And this just help you get the fires and electric energies. Most of the time it's to get fire energies, uh, because you don't play as many electrics, fires as you do electrics. Now, this deck does play two starting megaphones, uh, which discards all Pokemon tools attached to all your opponent's Pokemon. Now, we I might end up actually taking this out. Like I said, Garbodor is not that really relevant now. Uh, it's in here right now to help against, uh, just to mess up math with Evital and Dark Eyes and Muscle Band math, basically. That's why the uh, megaphone's in here right now. But like I said, we might end up taking it out. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, the deck will Super Rod. Now, Super Rod can you shuffle three combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from go back into your deck. Now, usually I play Sacred Ash over Super Rod, but uh, if you need the fire energies, that's why Super Rod is good in this deck. That's why I still have them in here. Uh, the deck plays two ultra, or four Ultra Balls, sorry. So, f f Ultra Ball, of course, discard two cards from your hand, and search a deck for a Pokemon. Now, most of the time, you want to discard the Electric Energies, just so you can try to get Tynamos out, and stuff like that, and power up Dynamotor. Uh, plays two Verse Seeker, search a discard file for supporter, put in your hand. Plays two Colvers, because you're going to fill Revenge really quick. Show up your hand as your deck draws, and draw as many cards equal to the number of Bench Pokemon to play. Uh, Lysander. Switch the bench Pokemon with his or her active. Uh, end. Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw as many prize cards you have remaining. Both players do, not just you, sorry. Uh, Professor Juniper, discard your hand, draw seven. Just another way to fill up the uh, Dynamotors and stuff. Now, the deck plays three Tropical Beach. Uh, you don't have to play Tropical Beach, but turn one, you're never going to attack. So that's why Tropical Beach is really good. Now you need some trainers in here just to counter, you know, find stadiums and Burbanks and all that good stuff. Uh, maybe Sky Arrow. You could try Sky Arrow, Sky Arrow out here. Because everybody does have one retreat cost, uh, except Zekrom and Keldeo. But we played the three full stones, so. I don't know, you can try a Sky Arrow out if you want to. Uh, but if you have the Tropical Beach, I would play them. I don't think they're as expensive as they used to be, so. I don't know if you can get your hands on them. Get your hands on them, and the deck plays three float stones just so we attach them to kill Dio, uh, and give him free retreat. Float stone, uh, we attach this card to a Pokemon that has no retreat, and then we play five fire and eight lightning just for our energy counts. And uh, that's pretty much with the deck. Uh, the deck kind of struggles with Seismitoad, which I can't at this time. I can't really think of a good way to be Seismitoad with this. I guess with well, still Reiku, you could do. 30, and I think he's a little pad that they're paralyzed for a lightning in color, so maybe that can work. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't played this deck really much and expanded, but uh, we'll try it out right here, and hopefully we don't play against too much Primal Clash, and that'll be good in the game. Alright, let's see what happens. What's everybody? So we're playing against a uh, Colorless, Grass, and Steel deck. So my opponent did with the Coin Toss. Start with Tynamo, not the best starter. I mean, it's okay. Just see what happens. So, see a Deoxys. That's good. At least it's an EX we can knock out. Uh, if we can draw it to an Ultra Ball, that'd be kind of good. Discard like a Lightning and Touch of Fire to Rayquaza. So, we'll see a Plasma Ball coming down. Maybe I'm playing against TDK or something. So, we'll see a Genocide. Hmm. Cold Machine, oh man, I think I'm playing against Verizon Genocide. Um, there's a Victini that I could play that kind of helps out this matchup a little bit more. Yeah, it's a bad hand, we might lose right now. Let's we'll see what happens. In, give me a Pokemon. Alright, so that works. Well, what about these two away? We'll get a Tynamo, just because we have the electric in hand. For the Tynamo, Tropical Beach, and Beach for five. But the um, the Victini, if you have five Pokemon on your bench, it does 100 damage. 
and then obviously with weakness it uh, knocks out Genesex. So uh, might be good in this deck. Like I said, I haven't really played this deck that much, so I don't really know its full potential. So we see my opponent get a Shaman. Does he have a way to switch? That's the question. Here we see an Ultra Ball, discarding energy switch and cold machine. See a Jirachi. I imagine with this he gets a in. Oh, Juniper. Okay. Now if he misses a switch, we're gonna be really good. No switch, no switch, no switch, no switch, no switch. Laser. That doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're good. Alright. So we can level ball here for an electric. Put the electric down here. Put another electric down here. Uh, we will profess a letter, getting two lightnings. And we'll just jump for a hand away. Alright. Uh, we'll put the Rayquaza down. Love a ball for another Tynamo. I feel like a Tynamo is going to go down this turn. We have a Dynamotor once. Dynamotor twice. Uh, I'll just float still to a Tynamo. Yeah. Seems good. And yeah, Travel Beach here. Ah, uh, drawn to the Keldeo right then. Keldeo was one card away. But here we're probably going to see a switch. I imagine we see a switch. Yeah, switch. Into Genesect. Does he have an Plasma Energy G Booster? Is the question. There's a Plasma Energy. G booster. Oh. It looks like Rayquaza is going down. But if we can knock out the Genesect, we'll be in really good shape. But we do need a lot of stuff to ha make it happen. So we said the Tynamo. Oh, that's not what we need. Alright, we've well, got the Super Mega so that's good. We'll bench the Keldeo, which kind of seems weird, but it's okay. Uh, opponent discarded. I don't. Well, maybe, I, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know if he discarded something weird. Plasma and grass. I wish uh, he probably should have discarded both the grass away. That's okay either way. Um, nothing here. Do I in or do I juniper? No, yellow juniper. Oh my goodness, we didn't get it. <laughs> it was so bad. All we needed was a um, one of these, one of these cards to be a um. <sighs> to be a. Uh, Rayquaza, sorry. All right, well, we messed up. Uh, you know what? We're gonna send in. The Keldeo. We're just gonna let the Keldeo die. My opponent has it. He has it. Cause um, if my opponent knocks out Keldeo, he'd be at two prizes left. But I can knock out the Genesect next turn if I can draw into Rayquaza. So it might seem weird that I'm getting a free prize, but uh, I think it'll be worth it in the end if I can get everything I need this turn. So we see close my opponent. Get a bunch of cards. Uh, there is no way he can attack me next turn. That's kind of the big situation here. So we see a uh, knockout. 20 on the electric. This next card needs to be Rayquaza. Give me Rayquaza. Oh, ooh, what a top deck. Alright, so light fire here. Dynamo to once. Dynamo to twice. Down a mode a third time. So now we can knock out that Genesect. And uh, do we have an end in here? Oh, what do we do? So we end my opponent down to two cards. And uh, we do have Tropical Beach, which kind of stinks. But we can get another uh, Rayquaza down to get ready to uh, Dragon Burst next turn. Here we will retreat. And we will Dragon Burst. The lightning is away. Sounds good to me. Bye bye, Genesect.
Take two Brass cards. Now the Shaman is going to be scary. Shaman, you're my favorite Pokemon, but uh, he might he might be clutch. We'll see what happens. So we'll see my opponent Center Frisian. Uh, we do have another end too, so that'd be really good. Um, so we'll see my opponent Life Center of the Electric. Ugh. How many floats are we down right now? That's the question. Just the one on the active. So that's uh, really good. So we see if a uh, positive energy coming down. It's my opponent, just Tropical Beach. Uh, we're going to level ball. We're going to Tynamo. Let's see. Do we have float stones left? We have two float stones. Alright. So we'll touch a fire here. Now, like I said, I do kind of want to um, in, but I really need to hit a. Uh, a fault stone. So we'll just gin break see what happens. Ooh, whiff hard. Oh, dynamo to here. Dynamo to second time. To here. We're trying to set up two Pokemon. And then, uh. We're just in my turn. Kind of stinks out. We didn't have the float stone. We do have two left in the deck. But uh, what can you do? Just trying to make the comeback of the century. But we'll see. Still not up yet. Still not over yet. See the grass energy going to the Genesect. And what else does he got? What else do you got for me? Has he played a Shadow Triad yet? No, he hasn't. Alright, so we see a pass from my opponent. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Touch of lightning here. If only had a floatstone. Oh, wait to retreat the electric. I can license up this uh, Genesect. Man. Okay. What are the chances of one of these being a Shadow Triad? Any energy? I'm thinking pretty good. So we're going to try to play my hand down as far down as we can. Watch about these two away. Get nothing. Douse Machine. These two away. Uh, we'll grab the end and end my opponent down to two cards. Let's see what happens. We need a float stone off this. We got it. Oh my goodness, thank you. Alright. And uh, we need the dynamotor. What's here? And we'll dynamotor. Oh, we can only retreat. Guess we don't have no many energies left. But we can drag the burst here. My opponent needs a energy and a. Um, a grass energy and a shadow triad to win this turn. So can we make like the six two comeback? Oh my goodness, this would be amazing if we can do this. Oh my gosh, the suspense is killing me. And we do have floatstone left too, so if he brings up the third electric we can floatstone too. So we say Sky or Bridge, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who he sends up. We see Tool Scar, but that doesn't matter either. I think we win. Oh my goodness, come back on this. Oh my goodness, no. He can just continue this turn. But why wouldn't you leave it? Okay, that's kind of kind of weird that, uh. Kind of weird that he wouldn't, um. Tropical Beach there. But here we'll retreat. Attach of Lightning. We'll Dynamotor. Once. Download it twice. Uh, we'll put the tropical beach down just in case he ends me, and we will dragon burst. But we are looks like we're coming back the two to six comeback. <gasps> oh no, this might. Oh man, the shame and play might happen right here. If my opponent gets a grass energy switch, he can win right here. Oh, does he get? Does he get spooky with this card or not? Oh, so we see. 
So he just shadow tries. <gasps> we win. Oh my goodness, we got this. That is crazy. Two to six comeback, Rayquaza. You see the power of Rayquaza? Oh my goodness. I didn't think this was going to happen. But we did it. No cards left in our deck, but who cares? Let's see how much damage we can get done. Don't don't quit on the opponent. Oh, we should have put the post on last. I just want to see how much damage we can do. Don't quit on the opponent. Don't quit on the opponent. Let me do it. Retreat. And Dragon Burst. The Lightning in G's way. And we did it for 420. Oh my goodness. That was a crazy comeback. But uh, you can really see the power of the deck. And uh, ooh, we got a Mr. Gift too. Hope it's Prime Clash stuff. I don't have any yet. Alright, let's see what it is. Hopefully it's something good. Alright. Rayquaza X MVP, that's right. Rayquaza is taking names. Damage dealt 900. Alright, let's see what happens. It's my mystery gift. Oh, waiting. We are waiting to see what it is. We can find it together. And a Fury Fist Packs. Oh, and a Prime Clash. But thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Um, the deck probably needs some kind of work, but uh, I like where it is right now. It seems pretty consistent, so uh, pretty good. But thanks for watching. Have a good day. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do it. And uh, see you on Fan Friday. Alrighty, bye.